What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Fallout New Vegas video. This one, we are going to be going back to the Strip. I know it's a lot of back and forths, right? Uh, late game here to the Strip and all, but uh, the reason for this actually is so that we can actually go and... Uh, I essentially just put an end to Mr. House. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much about it. So if you're excited for this video, do me a huge favor. Drop a like on this video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really, really does help this channel grow. And of course, I would be greatly appreciative of you for doing so. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get going. Gotta make sure I still got Rexy Boy and Boone over here. Sexy ass Boone over here with his little ranger outfit. All right. But anyways, let's go ahead and um, go over to the strip. Strip North Gate. Let's go ahead and do that. Luckily for us, the loading screens are pretty fast in this game mode. So, off to the Lucky 38. I feel This one kind of feels a little fucked up, to be honest, because Mr. House gave us our player home, pretty much. And now we have to uh, remove Mr. House as a threat to the NCR. Because clearly we're at the point where we are siding with the NCR. So there's that. And I definitely don't have any intentions to side with the Legion. So there's that as well. And Mr. House honestly is kind of boring. As a faction in my opinion. Um, where is it? Is it uh... Penthouse? Right? I don't remember. Okay, yeah, I've got it. Get out of my way, person. Alright, we're here. There goes Mr. House. Um. Am I seriously still detected? We're not going to have an option here, huh? Let's go ahead and save it just in case we have a separate way of handling this. But realistically, I think we're just going to have to fucking shoot our way through here. Alright, open chamber. Yes. Ah! Uh, let's go! Oh man, this does a lot of damage. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Um, they do a lot of damage too. Maybe we should get our weapon ready. Also, I think we should probably be on this side. All right, let's try this again. All right, ninety five for the antenna. How much is for the body? Hold on. You're gonna show me the body or what? Oh god, there's another one coming. That explains a lot, actually. Fuck it. Oh no! Alright, I'm switching camera views because this view sucks right now. And maybe it's better if we don't because there's like this weird bug where I can't see my my shot oh no that's not good use a stim pack wherever they are shoot them they should all be dead now I hope nope Ah, you bastards! Okay, there we go. Got them all. That was actually surprisingly tough. Activate terminal. Requires key. Can I just go in through here? There we go. Open elevator. Stay here, control room. Of course we're going to the control room. Wait, hold on. Um... Was I able to get... 
No. All right. Sorry, Mr. House, but you're fucked. Oh god, here he comes in his little futuristic little pot of his. Ew, he looks so gross. Honestly, he creeps me the hell out, dude. I'm not even gonna lie to you. In his little diaper. Ew, look at that. Hello. Why have you done this? Centuries of preparation. So much good undone. I uh, just kind of sided with a different person. Um, that mean the NCR wanted me to, so I did it. Those snakes for them, you sad, misguided whore. <laughs> I am no whore. You take that back, damn it. Um. Should I kill him or should I let him live? I think letting him live would be more painful, to be honest. Uh, see you later, buddy. May there be a hell for you, a Tartarus, bleak, unending. Probably. And hold on, I want to switch views. Of course. Why does it do this? I can't shoot this weapon. It's like some weird bug. God damn it, die! I wanted to shoot him in the face. That didn't work out. What the hell? Why am I looking up? That looks disgusting. Look at that. Oh god. Um. Sorry, man. Nothing personal. You know how that works. Wait on, what does that say? The house has gone bust. Remove Mr. House as a threat. Return to Colonel Moore. Report to the house is no longer a threat. Kill or disable Mr. House. Mr. House is dead. His grand dreams for New Vegas will never be realized. Mr. House is dead. Grand dreams for New Vegas will never be realized. Okay, got it. Is that everything? All right, looks like we're good. Let's see if we can still go to our house. That would suck if we can't, but I'm pretty sure we can though, realistically. All right, uh, presidential suite. Aw, oh, look, it's our little house. Speaking of which, where's, where's Boone? Ew, she looks creepy. Like, what the hell is she doing? Wait, do I have power armor for her? I'm gonna give her T51. Um. Okay, maybe over here? Um. No. Do I have T51? No. What the hell? I thought I had T51. No! Monica! I'm sorry, Veronica! Alright, let's go back to the casino. Let's get the hell out of here. Let's go talk to Engaging Colonel target. Moore. Oh, fuck. Is the entire strip gonna be against us now? Is this guy dead? Alright, I think we're good. Wait, if I remember correctly, I think there's like a unique weapon up here. Like a boxing glove or something. I don't really need it. Did I already pick it up? No, it's right here. Look. Check it out. The golden gloves. Very nice. Those are unique. If uh, I believe. Alright, let's get the hell out of here and go talk to Colonel Moore. Um, She's actually at... The Hoover Dam. And I'm liked at the Hoover Dam. Well, actually, I'm liked by the NCR, period. But, alright, let's go ahead and put our weapon away. I don't want to make enemies of the NCR. That would be, uh, rather unfortunate. Plus, I don't want to make them feel uneasy or anything like that. 
All right. What's up, fellas? Don't mind me. Just chilling. Hanging out. You know how that goes. I really do like the NCR, though. A lot, actually. Dude, look at all these guys, dude. They're, like, stacked. Report. Is Mr. House still a threat? Um, as a matter of fact, no. Then that's one more nuisance we won't have to worry about. Good work. Our efforts haven't gone unnoticed, either. The brass have been throwing around the idea of having the president visit the dam for a while now. To rally the troops and boost morale and such. With our recent achievements, they finally feel secure enough to stage the damn thing. But while it's being planned, I have one last mission for you. Several years ago, we managed to wrest the Helios-1 solar power station from the Brotherhood of Steel chapter local to this area. It was a crushing victory, but no one's heard a peep from the Brotherhood since. Most people assume the Brotherhood is scattered and not a threat. Recently, we've had scouts go missing in an area west of Helios, and I'm concerned that the Brotherhood is involved. I want you to find them, and once you do, finish them for good. Any questions? Um... Is there no peaceful way to resolve this? Don't even think about it. Any Brotherhood survivors likely harbor a deep grudge against us. We can't afford to leave such an enemy alive. Any other objections? Maybe you'd like to bring the Brotherhood some flowers. <laughs> She's sassy. Um, how do you expect me to destroy the entire Brotherhood chapter? A fair question, and one I've had our strategists think about for some time. Their consensus is that we must focus on the one thing we can count on. With the Brotherhood, that's their obsessive attachment to technology. They'd never go anywhere that didn't have working power. I'm willing to bet that wherever they're hiding, there's a working reactor powering their equipment. That's their vulnerability. Detonate that reactor, and we can safely cross the Brotherhood off our list of concerns. Is there anything else? Mm. I thought the Brotherhood was all wiped out by, uh, at the Battle of Helios 1. How could they have survived any of it? After the battle, we consolidated our hold on the plant before pursuing our enemies. It was a mistake, to be sure, but there wasn't really any place for them to go. When we finally gave chase, however, they had simply vanished. Some of our people think they had some means of conveyance, like the vertebrates the Enclave used and hightailed it out of here. I think that they found some place to hide close to Helios and never went that far at all. Any other questions? So where should I start looking, then? As I said, our scouts were some ways west of Helios when they disappeared. Alright, I mean, I guess I got no more questions for you, ma'am. Yeah, I'm on my way. Dismissed. Don't dismiss me. I'm not an NCR troop. What's my, um... Uh, my status. No, not my status. My... Okay, there we go. My fame for the NCR. I'm still liked? Hmm. Maybe we should go do some side quests before we check out the Brotherhood. I know just the place, to be honest. We could always just go to... What is that place called? Um, the, 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 the airplane hangar location right there by the strip. Uh, fuck, dude. What's it called? Um, it's actually right next to the caravan company. Not really, I guess. Camp McCarran is where I'm trying to go to. And it's not even close to there. All right, Cap McCarran. Hey, what's up, troop? Hi. It's been a long tour. All I can think about now is going back home. Sure. Can't go home yet, though, troop. There's a war to, 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 to be won. Whoop, whoop. Atomic Wrangler. Fuck the NCR. How dare they? I should wipe them out for that. Uh, excuse me, sir. I need some directions. When I got this assignment, I was hoping there'd be more gambling. What? No, I said directions, not erections. Pervert. Alright, anyways. Um, there's somebody that I can actually speak to over here. I believe he's a major. I think it's over here, at least. He's like somebody's... I think he's like Bitterroot's dad or something or stepdad where the hell is he well then wait am i tripping is there supposed to be somebody fighting here too i am losing my mind here hello what's your name sir 10 
of spades. Hey, my man. Ten of spades. First recon sharpshooter at your service. Um, are you all right? Oh, yeah. Fine. Just a little st stutter. Had it since I was a kid. Doesn't stop me from kicking kick 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 ass. Yeah, I'm sure it doesn't. Damn right. <laughs> I like this dude. Uh, so where'd you get that name by any chance? Uh, would you tell me? The LT. Goro Betts gave it to me. See, I wanted to be Ace of Spades. But the LT says, sorry kid, you're t t t too green. So he calls me <laughs> instead. It's okay though. I get a few more c c kills under my belt. He'll move me up to Jack. Jack of Spades. Sounds better, right? Yeah, I do. I it, keep at it. it does. Eventually, I'll make it to Ace. I think I'll skip Queen, though. That's cool, man. That's motivation for him. Even though it's just for a name. But hey, whatever. It is what it is. He's got hopes. Um, and dreams, of course. Uh, how long have you been a sharpshooter for the NCR? Shit. As long as I can remember. Had a rifle in my hand since I was three. That's what my dad always says. Learned to shoot on our ramp. Way west of here. Same as the LT. He's a... Farm kid too. That's pretty cool. How long ago did you enlist in the military then? Oh, they recruited me. What? A year ago? Taught me to kick even more ass than before. These guys, they really know how to kick some ass. Yeah, I mean, I bet. Uh, what do you guys do around here, anyways? Kicking ass. Taking names, all right. Mostly kicking ass. See, we're watching the perimeter right now, looking for those fiends to come back. When they show their faces, that's when we go to work. One shot, one kill. That's the first recon way. That's pretty cool. I mean, it doesn't surprise me. You guys are snipers. Yeah, I'll see you around. See you later. Sorry, I'm not trying to make fun of you, buddy. Um, who's this guy? A platoon of veteran. Oh, it's Lieutenant Gorbets. I'm Lieutenant Gorbets. Gorbets. First recon. If you're looking to collect a bounty, you should talk to Major Daughtry. That's the guy I was looking for. Tell me about the first recon. We're the finest sniper outfit in the whole NCR. If you need a bullet put into a target's eye from 800 yards away, you call us. Some of my team aren't without their share of scars, though, like Betsy and Sterling. Uh, what do you mean with Betsy? What's wrong with Betsy? Cook Cook, one of the fiends, ambushed her in ten of spades. They both managed to escape, but not before Cook Cook raped her. Holy Betsy shit. Betsy shrugged it off like it was nothing, but her behavior keeps getting worse. Always making passes at every woman who wanders by. It's inappropriate for anyone at First Recon to behave that way. I could discipline her, but I'd rather she get medical help. That's good. That's a good man. She doesn't need discipline. Discipline will just make her go deeper down that traumatized hole of hers. You know what I mean? She needs help. I mean, I could talk to her, man. Maybe uh, see if I can get her to go see some medical help for her trauma. I mean, of course, if that's okay with you. I'd appreciate it. As her CO, I could order her to get help, but I'd have her agree with the idea. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, I'll see what I can do, man. I, I, I promise I'll see what I can do. But what happened to Sterling? Corporal Sterling was an NCR Ranger until he was captured by the Legion. They tortured him pretty badly. Wasn't able to be a ranger after that, but his eyes are still sharp, so I had him transferred to First Recon. Well, speaking of First Recon, can you tell me a little bit about it? We're the finest sniper outfit in the whole NCR. If you need a bullet put into a target's eye from 800 yards away, you call us. Hell yeah, boy! Does the any uh, does the NCR uh, offer any bounties on you know certain individuals across the wasteland? If they've proven hard to kill, yes. Whatever it takes to get the job done, even if it means hiring help from outside the military. Nice. Later. Carry on. I don't want to carry anything, bruh. Who's this person? Oh, there's Betsy. Never seen you around before. What do you want? Um. Wait, did I kill Cook Cook? Oh, I did kill Cook Cook. I forgot about that. I thought you should know that, uh, that asshole Cook Cook is dead. You killed him? Well, shit. Here I dreamed up this whole elaborate revenge fantasy. Didn't really think I'd do it, but as long as the tubby bastard was actually alive, I could pretend like I would. Here, I owe you. 
take it and get out of here before I indulge my inner bitch and spoil the moment. <laughs> that's that's it. Just three, and then four. Oh, she gave me a lot of money. I guess. Yeah. We're not done yet, girl. You just because he's dead and he deserves it. You still need to get that, you know, head examined in the best possible way, man. You really need help. The lieutenant's been talking to you, hasn't he? No. Look, I don't <laughs> need a head doctor. I'm first recon, damn it. You don't see the others crying about every little bruise and scrape, do you? Dude, I'm I was in the military. Just trust me when I'm telling you this, girl. It's not worth it. You got to focus on yourself sometimes. There's nothing wrong with it. Uh This is tough love. Uh This is But I think I, I don't think she deserves Whoa! She's a tough girl. I think tough love could be beneficial for her. But I think it's a little rough. I mean, you gotta be careful with people that go through some serious trauma of any kind realistically um, I don't like these options to be honest so I'm just gonna go with medicine 40 uh, mental trauma can slow you down or distract you but it's treatable just like any bullet wound that you could obtain in combat just another injury to take care of huh exactly well when you put it that way all right you can tell the lieutenant I finally caved there's a dr. Usanagi who's supposed to be good at this sort of thing um, have you seen any real combat around here? Not unless you count the fiends as serious. Gorobets keeps us inside the fence most of the time. Doesn't matter to me. I just shoot bad guys. Sooner or later, they'll move us out to the dam, though. That's when the shit gets nasty. Uh, what do you mean? Nasty how? Legion fights to win. And they're smart. Hell of a lot smarter than these crazy fiends. But I don't feel bad about shooting Legion boys. Fiends, on the other hand... Sometimes I get pangs of conscience. Not often, but sometimes. Uh, first I've heard about conscience in a while, to be honest. Some cute little junkie bitch, so fucked up she doesn't even know that she's the bad guy. And I've got a headshot her. Makes me think. Might just be sex, though. I see some cute little number, and I'd rather get in her pants. So maybe I'm a stone-cold bitch after all. That's the trauma. So, uh... Later. Yeah. Who are, who are we missing? That's uh, Lieutenant Gorberitz. Gorb Alright, we should rest till the morning, though. Oh, we're actually almost in the morning. Just so that they can all come back. Uh, we'll wait till 10. Fuck it. That's Gorberitz. Good morning. Hello. Where is everybody? Um, Hello. have we talked to this guy? Bitterroot. I'm Bitterroot. First recon. You got a oh, to talk to look me. who it is behind him, too. Uh, Bitterroot, you have an unusual name, as a matter of fact. You trying to start trouble? No, dude, I... You really not know where I got that name? Uh, I didn't mean to offend you, bruh. Just making an observation here. You don't have to tell me if you'd rather not. It's a con name. You know, the great cons. That's what my parents were. I figured I grew up around the bastards. And they owed me a name after all they put me through. What happened to your parents? They're dead. Got themselves killed at Bitter Springs. Served them right, if you ask me. They're still your parents, bro. That's kind of fucked up. Uh, well, what happened at Bitter Springs? It was a massacre. That's what a lot of NCR folk will tell you. Most of them feel plenty bad about what happened. But I was there. Saw it myself. I don't care what anybody says. The cons asked for Bitter Springs. They wouldn't leave the NCRB. My damn parents, too. They were just as bad as the rest. Uh, you don't really mean that, do you? Don't I? Mister, you never met my parents. My dad, he got himself fucked up every chance he got. Always started with foe for no reason. Hell, he was the one who taught me to shoot. You know how? By taking pot shots at NCR, and not just soldiers. Civilians, too. Even kids. Then he'd get high with his buddies and swap tales about the folk they killed bunch of animals and my mom a couple of times she tried to sell me to some waster just to score some jet god damn even the other cons said she was useless only reason they kept her around was because she was a... <clears throat> how'd my dad say it 
smoking piece of ass. Oh my god, that's terrible. So your name comes from Bitter Springs? You're not fully grown till you've taken a beat down. Everybody gathers around and hits you till you're damn near dead. After that, if you haven't begged for mercy, you get to choose a new name. One you'll use for the rest of your life. When NCR slaughtered the cons of Bitter Springs, I hadn't gotten my beat down yet. I was still too young. The way I see it, Bitter Springs was my beat down. So afterward, I gave myself a name. It's all I got from the cons. It's all I ever won. That's crazy. How did you survive the massacre? Guess I could tell a pretty good story if I had a mind. But the truth is, I don't know. I just got lucky. They brought me to Daughtry after the battle. He was just a captain back then. Guess he saw something in me. He knew I didn't belong with the cons. Maybe he felt bad too, about how his men killed my folks. I told him he did me a service, but he didn't believe me. Still doesn't. He's a good man, Daughtry. Doesn't act like it sometimes, I know. But he didn't have to take me in. That's crazy. Uh, you're not telling me something. Uh, you couldn't have forgotten the whole massacre. It's like I tell Major Daughtry. Best not to look under a rock. You don't really want to know what's there. Could yeah, it makes that sense. NCR found some blood on me and none of it mine. Could be that a few of those cons didn't die from NCR bullets. Oh my god. I had scores of my own to settle. Deeper ones than NCR ever had. Don't bother asking who they were with. Holy shit, dude. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> yeah. Alright, uh. Um. How long have you been uh, with First Recon? A while, I guess. I don't keep too careful track of time. I like to keep things simple. Just focus on now. That's why they made me a sniper. You let your mind wander back a ways and you lose sight of what's in front of your eyes. Good way to miss a mark. I mean, it makes sense, but it's always helpful, you know? Uh, so your father's the commanding officer? Is that even allowed? Yeah, look. He's not my real father. I just yeah, looked I figured. for a while. It's a long story. I get tired of talking before it was through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, where can I find work around here? You and Merc? Well, then I guess you want to talk to my uh, father, Major Daughtry. He's our CO. All right, works. Later. Have we talked to everybody? Uh, Betsy, Ten of Spades, um, Bitterroot. I know there's one more person that I haven't talked to. This we dude. won't go quietly. What's up, Corporal Sterling? Howdy. Name Sterling, First Recon. Can't say I've seen you before. I'd remember if I had. Uh, you remember everyone who passes through here? Got a good memory for faces, landmarks and such, too. Comes with practice, that's all. And a lot of scouting from place to place. That's an interesting rifle, by the way. That's a unique weapon in Fallout New Vegas. It's a lever action, though, right? I call her the Long Carabine. Didn't always have the scope. I added that myself. Been shooting with her so long, couldn't bring myself to toss her away. Would have felt guilty to part with the old girl. <clears throat> the other snipers used bolt action, but Gore Betts reckoned it didn't matter none if I was different. As long as I could hit my targets. I mean, that's true. How long have you been with First Recon? Used to be a ranger. One of the first they sent out east back before we took the dam. Observation and reconnaissance. We took the lay of the land, checked out the locals, and kept ourselves inconspicuous. A couple friends of mine were the first to scout the dam. That was back in 73, if I recall. A lot of those rangers are dead now. Vegas always chewed men up. It's just a little more literal nowadays. So why did you leave the rangers? Well, that wasn't really a matter of choice. I got myself caught by legionaries up near Malpe. They had themselves some fun with me. Mangled my hands and feet pretty good. Wasn't much good with the pistol after that. Wasn't going to be trekking across the waste on any more long scouts either. So, how did you manage to escape the Malpais, whatever? Caesar's boys figured I wasn't going anywhere after what they'd done to me. So they didn't bother tying me up. I crawled out of there on my elbows and knees. Must have looked a sight. Then I rolled down an embankment into the Colorado. I guess I had a mind to drown rather than give Caesar's boys the satisfaction of killing me. But a couple rangers happened to be watching from across the river. They jumped on in and pulled me out of there. That's... Lucky break, they said. Yeah, that's pretty damn lucky. Uh, how long were you stationed here? 
Going on six months now, but I reckon we'll be moving out soon enough. Can't talk about the details. Till then, we'll man the towers and keep an eye on the fiends. We've had more than our share of trouble from their direction. Whole thing smells of Caesar to me. Of course, that's just guesswork. But I still bet a few caps he's stirring up the locals against us. Yeah, alright, later. Always a pleasure. Keep yourself safe. Alright, so I want to go talk to Major Daughtry, which is that dude walking way out there. Wait, who's this guy? But first, I want to go do what I set off to do in a previous video. I think it was the last video, to be honest, or maybe the one before that. Uh, but, I want to kill all those damn freaking, like, well, I already killed Cook Cook because I kind of had to. But there's two other ones, like Violetta, I believe her name is. And then there's, uh, I forgot his name, but he has the golf clubs. Uh, probably the one that was used to kill, uh, Joel in The Last of Us 2. No, I'm just kidding. But seriously, though, like, he has a golf club or whatever. Um, I want to kill them because I get a good bounty for them. So we're going to go ahead and do that really quick. Shouldn't take more than, like, five minutes, man, once we get there, to be honest. Because they're not that tough, especially because... Wait a minute. Where the hell are my companions? I don't know where my where Boone or Rex is. Oh crap. Should I just rest? Oh no, there's enemies around here. Uh Um all right, let's just go in this direction because I believe they're over here. Well, this is the golf club dude right over here. Luckily, Cook Cook is dead, so we only have two more to go. Hey, you! Come here! Hey, look! What's up, buddy? Who the hell? What's up, buddy? Can I borrow that gun of yours? Holy fuck. He just threw it at me. He has no respect for that rifle. Alright, I'll be taking that round. Don't need any of that other stuff. But I will gladly take this laser RCW. I think I'm perked for it too, so... Um... So that works. Hello? Excuse me, sir. I would like to have a casual conversation with you. Is this him? Or is this just a regular fiend? Yeah, this is just a regular fiend. Oh my god, all of these guys are just exploding. Relax, bro. This is him. Alright, I'm gonna... Just blast his leg off. Die, please. There we go. Well, really quick, let me loot his head. And the driver. And you can just fuck off. Thank you. Come again. Holy crap. Yeah, he'll be all right. Let's take a quick nap. Just so that we can obviously save it really quick. And so we can be healed. This freaking rifle is insanely powerful, man. For a laser weapon, of course. It's the uh, Tri-Force... Fucking rifle? I don't remember what it's called. Hold on. The, um... Tri-Beam Laser. The Tri-Force. This is the Legend of Zelda. Ocarina of Time over here. Probably one of the best games I've ever played, to be honest. I still remember as a kid playing that game. Alright. Hello? Where's your cute little puppies? Hello? Is there anybody here? You? Sit down. I want to collect this dog's head. Just for fun. And you 
Okay, fuck off. I look like a monster with this freaking. It's a rebreather, but it looks great. Uh. With my, uh. Isn't there supposed to be more dogs? I guess not. Alright, well, let's fast travel then. Back to Camp McCarran. They're gonna love me for killing all these bastards. Excuse me, sir. Do you have any rifles, by any chance? Is your friend. Where it is, you're getting popular in the strip. See, he says, is your friend. The Crimson Caravan Hold on. the biggest merchant outfit in the world. Those cons got. I hope you're doing. What's up? Those Legion elite. Your model. Where's that? Is your friend? Our rangers are going to. McLafferty's. Fucking. Ex Look. McLafferty. McLafferty. Hey. Alright, fuck it. Whatever. Later. Where the hell is Boone? And Rex. Is this who I think it is? Is this Major Daughtry? It is. Hey, what's up, bro? I was if looking for you. If it's news, you can take it up with the Colonel. If it's good news, better involve some dead fiends. Look, Colonel Sanders is off somewhere making chicken, all right? I'm here to see you. Um, You're having trouble with some fiends? Damn right I am. And I'm paying bounties. I've got three fiends I want dead, and I don't give a goddamn how it gets done. That sound like something that interests you? Yeah, of course it does. Good. That's damn good. I figure it's about time we got lucky out here, so maybe you can snuff one of these maniacs. First one calls herself Violet. Oh, I know her. That's why. The name is the prettiest thing about her. Spends most of her time with a pack of vicious dogs. Then there's Driver Nafai. Hey, I know he's him fast, too. And he's brutal. Killed about a dozen of my men with a goddamn driver iron. Hence his name. And finally, Cook Cook. Rapist, pyromaniac. Yep, took care of him. Good chef, if you believe the fiends we've captured. <clears throat> Probably the craziest of the lot. I'm not gonna feed you any bullshit. These aren't your common Vegas trash. Yeah, they are. They've all killed good NCR men. And plenty of mercs, too. That's what makes them trash. You go after them. Any of them. You're in for a hell of a fight. So, which one is it gonna be? Um, well, let's start with the freaking biggest asshole of them all. One thing I should tell you about Cook Cook piece of shit is pure animal he raped one of my snipers so I hear makes this personal also he's got a flamethrower and he's damn good with it from what I hear he either rapes or burns every living thing he gets his hands on only one man's gotten close to killing him and that's little Buster so he says anyway <laughs> maybe it's bullshit but I'd still ask him about it uh, who's little Buster bounty hunter talks big <laughs> But he's still alive, so he can't be completely full of shit. I think he's out in the yard waiting to claim a couple bounties. So is there anything else I should know about Mr. Cook Cook? One more thing. If you want the full reward, you need to bring me a recognizable head. My superiors need proof they're gone. That means no headshots, no decapitations till after they're dead, and no damage to the face. If you want to be safe, aim for the chest. You bring me a head that looks like a rotten tomato, I'll <laughs> be doubting, and I won't be authorized to pay the entire bounty. Good luck to you. And don't get careless. Uh, so I want to claim a bounty. That right. You killed one of the psychopaths on my shit list. Let me see the scumbag's head. God damn it. That's Violet, all right. You made me one happy son of a bitch, you know that? Here, this is the bounty I put on her head. It's yours. Think you can take down another one of these scumbags? Up to you. Already done, bro. I can bruh. trust you to do the job, and I'd hate to see you walk away. Uh, yeah, actually, have uh, another head here. You killed another one. Let me have a look at the head. Well, well, well. Driver Nafai. <laughs> Nothing to say, you son of a bitch. No tips on my golf swing. <laughs> Lost a lot of good men to this psychopath. Morale's gonna be better now that he's gone. Here's the bounty I promised. I guess we can send first recon down to Camp Forlorn Hope. They need all the help they can get there. That's two psychopaths dead. If you can bring down the third, there's a bonus in it. Oh, you. bro, you're gonna be super happy for this one. Here you go. If that's true, that'd be the last of them. Yeah, that's Cook Cook. Ugh, did he always smell like this even yep. before he was dead? Yep. And the fiends let this guy touch their food? Well, 
This is payback for at least one of my troopers. She'll be glad to know he's dead. Here's your caps. Nice. You've been one hell of a stroke of good luck, you know that? Those three scumbags probably killed 20 NCR troopers. And you bring them down alone. Wish I had a few grunts as good as you. Damn good working with you. No worries. You have a good day, sir. Is little Buster still here? That's what I want to know. That's the dude that's always... There he is. Why wasn't he here earlier? What the fuck? Let me guess. You got work for me, right? No. Well, you're too late. I just quit the bounty trade. As soon as I pick up some caps that Dottrio owes me, I'm out of this scrapyard. Uh, are you supposed to be famous or something? Well, shit. Feel free to stick a knife in the old ego. <laughs> Thought I made a name for myself around here. Guess that's as good a reason as any to quit this stinking trade. No glory. No easy money, no women, and no glory. You already Shit. said that. I'd settle just for the women. Pervert. Uh, so why does he owe you caps? Daughtry, that is. Because I killed a couple of marks for him. That's why. You ever hear of Jackson? Nope. Or Night Terror? Nope. I take it they were fiends? Damn right they were. They were good, too. Till I popped a couple shells in their assholes. Bam. Dead. Finished. Over. See, somebody gives me a job, I do it. Maybe I complain a little here and there, but my shit gets done. Hey, you know what? It's all good in the neighborhood. How long have you been doing bounty hunting? Oh, shit, I don't know. Gotta be at least a month. Longer than That's I last in most jobs. You worked a lot of different trades? Oh, yeah. A lot. Like, before I was a bounty hunter, I worked as a caravan guard. You'd think that was a cakewalk, right? Wrong. Crazy bastards expected me to wake up at dawn. Get it. <laughs> it's about two hours after this guy hits the sack. And I need at least 10, 12 hours of sleep to do my job. Price of excellence. My god, lazy bastard right here. Um, I've been known to, uh, to hunt a few bounties myself, as a matter of fact. Well, hey, the field's wide open now that I'm gone. Probably lots of people looking to get in once they hear I quit. Eh. Uh... Yeah, this guy's weird. Later. Alright. So... What's going on? Oh, yeah, these guys are now moving. Is this uh, Colonel... Hey. Or Lieutenant Goberts? Yeah, it is. They're all moving to Camp, Forlo uh, Camp Forlorn Hope. Do I have, um... Oops. I heard you killed Driver in a fight. My team would have liked to get a shot at him. But we're still glad he's dead. Uh... Oh, wait, I convinced Corporal Betsy to get some help from, uh, Dr. Yusanagi. I wish someone with your medical training had come along sooner. I think she'll actually stick with the treatment because of what you said. I was afraid that Betsy wouldn't go for long-term treatment because she didn't want to look bad in front of the rest of the squad. But you settled that. Do me a favor and let Usanagi know Corporal Betsy is coming. I'd like to make sure the medical clinic has time for her. Yeah, for sure. Alright, so I think we've been there before... So it shouldn't be too hard. Um, uh, have we been there? I'm not sure. I know it's around Camp Forlorn Hope. I mean, not Camp Forlorn. Speed of Camp For Ho For Fucking A. Camp Forlorn Hope. There it is. Damn, it's kind of far. Luckily, I could just go to Ranger Station Delta and just go down there. Or even El Dorado Gas Services. I do want to go there at some point. Um, alright, hold on. Uh, I don't want to hurt anymore. Let's go... Oh, it's right here. Let's do this really fast. Take care of business with Dr. Usanagi. Hello. You're back. Do you need medical attention? Eh, uh, kind of. Uh, Corporal Betsy from First Recon will be, uh, coming over you, uh, over to you for some medical treatment. Mental trauma can be just as debilitating as physical injuries. I agree. Fortunately, I'm well qualified in such treatment. I'll make time in my schedule. Oh, thank you, your sweetheart. Um, I want an implant. Which surgery option are you considering? Hmm. Make me luckier. If I implant the probability calculator in your frontal lobe, you'll be able to calculate odds a little better. It's not quite the same as making you luckier, but you'll be able to nudge things your way more often. I can do the implant for 4,000 caps. I think I have the caps, yes I do, here you go. Have a seat in the auto dock. 
This will take a few hours. A few hours? Damn. 4,000 though. That's a lot. Thank you. Alright. So, do I have... I kind of want to go to Camp Forlorn Hope. Uh, so this is Camp for uh, Alright, let's go to El Dorado Services And then we'll run there really fa fast That's honestly one of my favorite places In the game, to be honest Alright, which direction is it? Whoops World map I'm not facing the right way So it's gotta be This way Oh, hello Nice try, Mr. Legionary all right, looks like that's all of them. All right, let me make sure I'm going the right way still. Yes, I am. I'm going directly in the right direction. Camp for Forlorn... Forlorn... I can't fucking talk right now. What the hell? Camp Forlorn Hope is one of my favorite places in this entire game. And if I could be 100% honest, I think it's because it's reminiscent of my time in the military. And uh, I have been deployed twice to Afghanistan. Uh... And I did reside while I was deployed in camps similar to Camp Forlorn Hope. And I think that's why I'm kind of attached to that place in this game. I really do like that place. And I think ultimately, I think that's why I like the NCR so much as well. Mainly because such a badass place. Alright, it's on the other side of here. Can I go up here? Yeah, Camp Forlorn Hope is such a badass place to be honest it's kind of sad when you get there though oh no hey i made it oh god i need to go around this thing i'm going the wrong way i'm almost certain of it but hey it seems to be working so far all right there we go camp forlorn hope look at this beautiful place right here i love this I love this place. Alright, excuse me. Coming through. Excuse me. Ah! Don't die. Hiya! Private Stone. He's probably stoned. Oh, look who it is. Lieutenant Monroe. Hold on. I want to see if everyone actually makes it out here. Since they were on their way over here. Once we complete their quest or whatever, like certain uh, individuals in the NCR or whatever, they end up right here. The problem is this spot also sometimes spawns like enemies. Uh, well, at least in my experience, like I've, I've had uh, individuals, or not individuals, but like bloat flies and stuff like that. Or even Cazadors a couple times spawn right here in this freaking spot right here. It's so annoying. Uh, we'll wait till 8. Hey. Hey. Hi. I really don't have time to chatter right now. Um, alright then, bye. Ass. Alright, well. Let's go in here. I really hope the freaking, those people end up coming over here. Let's talk to homeboy. What's up, Major Pilati? I'm glad to see you here. We could definitely use your help. Uh, what do you need help with? I've got the Legion at Nelson breathing down my neck and not enough men or supplies to get this camp into fighting shape so we can strike back. I need someone to talk to a few of the officers and help them resolve some of the problems around here. If I can get this place in order, then I can focus our efforts on taking back Nelson from the Legion. And the more that gets done around here, the more resources I'll be able to put into assaulting Nelson. Yeah, for sure. I can do that for you. Good. Let's not waste time then. Our biggest problems right now are supplies and troops, and the Legion is draining us both. Quartermaster Mays has been complaining to me non-stop about the lack of supplies. But unfortunately, we aren't getting a resupply anytime soon. I want you to speak with him and see if there's anything you can do for him. Alright, sounds like a plan. Wait a minute. Morning. There he is, Lieutenant Gobritz made it. And there goes Corporal Sterling. Um... Hold on, let me talk to this person. Hey, you're not one of the troopers. Got a second? I have work I need done and nobody here at the camp has the time or inclination to help me out. Uh, yeah, sure, what's up? 
I have the delightful task of tabulating stockpiles, kill ratios, mission success rates, radiation deaths, and other truly fascinating numbers. Sounds fun. I've come across numerous inconsistencies between our numbers and our reports, especially with regards to intercepting hostiles. I'm wondering if our radio security codes have been compromised. I need someone to deliver security code upgrades to each of the ranger stations. Uh... Yeah, for sure, man. Just tell me what to do. This holotape contains the updated security codes for the ranger stations. Show it to the comm officers there. Once the new codes are in use, anyone still using the old codes will just hear static if they're listening in on our frequencies. Uh, alright, cool. Bye. Deuces. So where's the other people? We're still missing Corporal Betsy... And uh, Corporal Betsy and Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winner. And ten of spades. I think they're in here, actually. Uh, oh, yeah, Bitterroot. There goes Betsy, Bitterroot, and that's just an NCR Ranger. Private Sexton. Um, Is this him? Where the hell is ten of spades? Is this him? No. I'm legitimately concerned. Ten of spades, where are you? Actually, you know what? Maybe he's in the chow hall. After all, people do get hungry. Is this it right here? Yep. They call it the mess hall here. Morning. Private Stone, NCR Trooper. There he is, ten of spades, my man. Alright, well, I think we're good here. There's nothing... There. Look at how badass man. I don't care what anybody says. This outfit is the best outfit in the entire game. I honestly wish it wasn't faction armor though. There is one that you can get later on in one of the DLCs that's not faction armor. But yeah, we're not gonna get that quite yet. Alright, but go quietly. let's go ahead and come over here. Stand in front of Lieutenant Moore and call it a day right here, right now, guys. This video or episode was actually quite eventful. We actually did quite a lot. Uh, and I don't think we are quite to the point where we have been idolized yet. So we're probably going to do a little bit more of NCR quests because I really do want to be idolized with the NCR before we do anything else uh, here in the channel. So there is that. If you enjoyed this video though, do me a huge favor, drop a like on this video. Also subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.